Welcome, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me in this moment today. My name is Ty Deja, but you can call me Deja like the rest of my family. And if you are new here, this is D Love Journey, where we travel to our higher selves, sharing the journeys of learning ourselves more, loving ourselves more, all the laughter, lessons, breakdowns, breakthroughs, and everything in between while encouraging each other along the way. If that's something that you can get down with, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the journey. We would love to have you. And please go ahead and like this video to share the love. If you like it, I love it. Thank you so much. All right. So today we are doing a quick meet about a book club. I've never done book club on YouTube before, but I have always been an avid reader. Um, ever since elementary school, one of my favorite things to do literally has been reading books. So for those of you who are already a part of the family, you know a little bit about my uh, upbringing. I didn't come from the most a well-off family. So one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid was going to the public library. I would literally check out the maximum amount of books that they would allow, whether it was five books, eight books. My grandma would take me every week. I'd read all five, all eight of those books and be ready to exchange them for more. So reading has always been something that I love and enjoy. Um, even into like high school, middle school, everything like that. I just, I've always had a thirst for knowledge. So reading novels, whether they're fiction, nonfiction, um, self-help books, or just any, any sort of books, I love to just engage in knowledge and to throw myself into a good old story. So I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and share that part of my life with you guys. Uh, I know self-love is something that is unique to everyone and a part of my self-love journey has been getting back into the things that I enjoyed in my youth, you know, loving on my inner child and continuing to explore those things as an adult. And so I'd love to share that part of my journey with you guys and I hope that this is something that you are interested in. So if you are here now, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I just got off from work, so I am a little bit tired. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make this very quick, get straight to the point so you guys know exactly what to expect. And then we will meet back up to discuss the book. So today we are going to just go through the calendar, a little bit about the book. And yeah, that'll be it. So the book that I chose is called The Silent Patient. This is a book that's been talked about a lot recently. I've seen a lot of folks dragging this thing through the mud, honey, okay? Even though this book um, was, I want to say, published in 2019, it's still a hot topic now, okay, five years later. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I haven't gotten around to reading it. Um, a few people have definitely recommended it. So I said, let me go ahead and give this book a read. So this book was written by Alex Michaelides, I want to say. Um, you can, I, the book retails for $17.99, but I looked on Amazon and it's, I want to say $10.99, about $11. So it's a very affordable read. I picked this book up at Costco and it was $10. So you won't be coming out the pocket too much, which we love balling on a budget, as you know, if you're a part of the fam. Um, also, this book is one of the New York Times bestsellers. Again, very much talked about. It's a psychological thriller and it's set in Britain, I want to say. It's about a woman who murdered her husband, allegedly, of course, right? And ever since the moment that she murdered him, she hasn't spoken a word since. This woman has, of course, been sent to a mental institution where a psychotherapist who has followed her story is very, very interested in learning more about her and also um, trying to get her to talk, trying to get her to tell her story. So it goes through this journey of this criminal psychotherapist named Theo Faber, who is captivated by this woman, Alicia, 
who murdered her husband. And so obviously, um, assuming the story is going to go through the whole thing from her murdering her husband, everything that happened beforehand, um, maybe the psychotherapist journey into researching her, interviewing her, dealing with her and trying to get her to spit it out, to spill the tea. So yeah, I love a good psychological thriller when it comes to a movie. So I figured book form would be just as good. I'm really interested to see if it lives up to the hype or not. Some people are dragging it, saying that it's not all of that. Um, but then I've also heard some really good reviews about it being good as far as plot twists go. So we shall see. We shall see. Okay. So I figured because this is a pretty thick book, it looks intimidating, but it's actually only 323 pages. Um, in the back of the book, there are some uh, book club questions from the author and I want to say they are um, there are some discussion questions in here as well and then also um, the author himself answers a lot of those questions be careful though because it did say there were spoiler alerts so don't go back there trying to be nosy and mess around and find out something you're not supposed to find out too soon um, there's also an excerpt of another book by this author. Again, he has written a few um, New York Time bestsellers, The Maidens. That might be another book that I will read and bring here to the channel as a book club pick. Um, but we'll see how this one goes first. So yeah, that's a little bit about the book. As far as calendar timeline for this book club, I know that everybody reads at their own speed. And maybe you're not really big into reading or you're not really big into books. I don't want this to be an intimidating thing. Obviously, assuming if you're here watching this, you like to read or you're interested in reading, but maybe you are just getting back into it. So I want to give us more than enough time to really read and digest this book. Um, I'm thinking a six week time frame would be plenty of time for us to get through the 323 pages. And so I broke down our calendar into two meetups. We will be having our first meet up on March 4th. And I'm giving you guys the weekend to get the book. Um, again, you know, get the book when you can. Maybe you don't have money till next Friday. That's fine. Whenever you can get the book, go ahead and get it. Uh, we're going to be meeting on March 4th, which at this point is, I'm going to say, three and a half weeks away from today, which is Wednesday when I'm filming, but I'll probably be posting it tomorrow, which is Thursday. But you'll have about three to four days to go ahead and order your book. Um, if your book doesn't come in time, you should still have enough time to get the book and be up to the stopping point for our live meet on March 4th. So for the first half of our book club reading we are going to be reading from part one and part two so again don't be too intimidated um this book is broken up into five parts there's part one two three four and five so for the first meet we're going to just go from part one to two it's roughly 200 pages and after me um, setting our calendar for the full six weeks, you would only really need to read about seven pages a day in order to comfortably keep up with the time span. Seven pages a day, that's like setting aside, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes, maybe five minutes. It depends on your reading speed, right? Every day, or maybe you don't have time to read one day and you double up and just take 30 minutes and read as far as you can. There, I don't care how you read it, okay? You may read it all in one day. You may read it, you know, cram it into the end. However is comfortable for you, I want you to read this book. I tried to pick something that would be really engaging mentally for us, um, something that will kind of make you want to read more. So I hope that this does fit the bill. So we'll be meeting on March 4th to discuss parts one and two, about 200 pages. And we'll have a live chat so we can sit down and really just talk about um, the character development, what we think about the characters, everything that's happened so far, maybe some things that we aren't feeling about the book or things that we really enjoy, some predictions of what might happen, just spilling the tea and just chatting it up about the book. And then we will have our second meet where we will discuss uh, parts three through five, basically finishing out the book. And parts three through five have about 120 pages. So it's a lot less. 
and again um, the whole idea of this is to give everyone a full amount of time you'll have three weeks to read those parts and when we meet it will be on March 25th so the first meet is on March 4th we have from now today whenever you're seeing this until March 4th to get through parts one and two and then we will meet on March 25th to discuss the last part of the book parts three through five and kind of just talk about how we like the book and like wrapping it up at that point there won't be any more spoilers hopefully because everyone will have already gotten through the book or even if you haven't finished and you still want to participate you don't be afraid to not show up just because you haven't gotten through the book just come show up chat it up and just enjoy being in company of people who are either in love with reading or trying to get back into loving reading or maybe trying to fall in love with books for the first time you know because I mean not everybody likes to read let's be honest um so yeah that is the calendar we're gonna have two meetups like I said March 4th and March 25th now I will go ahead and try to schedule those out maybe a few days prior so you guys can put your notifications on and be prepared for the live um, I'll be sure to make sure that when I come on, we're able to kind of just settle in, talk about it, and of course, post the live after the discussion. So if anyone's not able to make it during that time, you can still uh, get the tea on the book, maybe send in any comments, or you can always email me at my email, Instagram, you can hit me in my DMs, whatever works for you. So. Um, if you guys have any questions, I mean, feel free again to reach out to me. Um, my Instagram is the same, dlovejourney. My email is in the, I'll put it in the description box below, but it also should be in my channel. Uh, I don't know what it's called, about or whatever section where like all of my contact information is. Um, it's dlovejourney at gmail, dlovejourney999 at gmail.com. Don't quote me though, because I might not be right, but definitely check the description box down below. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about, you know, what version of the book to get or um, anything that you guys want to recommend even for another book club or a book review, please don't hesitate to reach out. And yeah, that's all I got. That's all the housekeeping for this. I'm going to go ahead and get this posted for you guys tomorrow again. We are reading The Silent Patient. This is going to be a book club video. So uh, if you don't want to hear about spoilers, you don't want to hear too much about the book, definitely be cautious of the next two videos to come. Um, I'll probably end up doing a general review about the book, depending on um, you know what you guys like, how you're feeling or whatever the case may be. But yeah, it's really going to be a book club where we get deep and discussing the characters, the plot twist, and maybe some um, flaws in the writing or the story or our favorite parts or anything that um, we could maybe relate back to our own lives. I'm really, really excited to kind of play around with it and just see how this book club uh, thing works for me, for my channel, and for our community. So thank you guys for being a part of that, of course. Um, I want to go ahead and, and say, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, okay? Turn your notification bells on so you do not miss the next updates about the book club meetups. I will be posting about when we are going live, March 3rd, wait, March 4th, so sorry, and March 25th. And please like this video to share the love. It will spread this out so that more people outside our community is able to uh, be notified about it and maybe join in the more the merrier, right? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, in this video here, like I said, I just got home from work. So your girl is hungry. I'm ready to kind of settle in um, and prepare for bed. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that this love journey continues to treat you kindly and with grace and that every day you wake up learning yourself more and more and loving yourself more and more every day. I will see you in the next video. Peace.